the Lewis structure for copper 2 bromide, or CuBr2, has copper, a metal, bonding with bromine, a non-metal. To the left of the staircase are metals, that's how I know copper is a metal, and to the right of the staircase are non-metals, that's how I know bromine's a non-metal. The reason it's important is that a metal and a non-metal will always bond together to form an ionic compound, and that is a transfer of electrons from metal to non-metal. Let's illustrate how that happens. Bromine is in group 17, so I want you to draw it with seven valence electrons. Did you see the shortcut there? 17 seven valence electrons. So there you go. Unfortunately, that little shortcut rule doesn't apply here in the transition metals. Here, each of these can have more than one charge. So you've got to draw copper with as many valence electrons as its charge in that molecule. Copper here has a charge of two, and I know that from the name, but I can also see it here in the formula. Cu brought a plus two charge, bromine brought a minus one charge, and when you crisscross them, you get this formula, if you were taught that rule. Copper two bromide, the copper starts with two valence electrons. Now what happens is the metal donates its electrons to the nonmetals, and the nonmetals are trying to get eight valence electrons total. That's the octet rule, the fact that eight valence electrons makes it stable. So bromine bringing seven only needs one more electron to complete its octet. Bam! There you go. One of copper's electrons donates itself to the cause. But where's the extra electron from copper supposed to go? The answer is you need another bromine atom with its seven valence electrons. That will happily take the extra electron from copper, and you end up with one copper atom giving its electrons away to two different bromines. To draw the completed Lewis structure, you need to give yourself the Cu atom with no valence electrons around it and a positive two charge because it gave away two minus charged electrons. You'll also have to draw yourself a bromine with eight valence electrons around it because it brought seven and took one from copper. That gives it a minus one charge. And because that happened twice, you need to draw an entire second bromine. But that's not too bad, not too cumbersome. This here is the completed Lewis structure for copper to bromide. This is just showing how that transfer happens. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Three minutes and change. Best of luck.